all, my name is Camilo Monca. I'm the director of quality control here at Rockland Immunochemicals. So we test our, our antibodies earlier when they are anti-serum. We test them during the process of manufacturing and finally we test them as a product before they are released. Uh, we basically try to guarantee that we have specificity, sensitivity and reproducibility in all of our products. Hi, I'm Karen Abarca. I'm the Director of R&D and Production here at Rockland. So our vision is to uh, advance life sciences to make a better world. So for us it's very, very important that our products and all our antibodies are validated properly depending on where they're used for. So for us it's very important that if they should work on Western blot that we validate them using Western blot assays. If they should work in ELISA that they're properly validated in the assay like ELISA. What we do here is try to use a complementary testing so that the information we can get from one particular immunoassay, we can get it from another immunoassay, let's take for example Western blotting versus ELISA. Uh, in the Western blotting, we, we can uh, easily detect the intended target under certain denaturing conditions, for example. But that's not the case in the ELISA assay where the, where the antigen is non denatured. So when, what we do is try to get that, this complementary information and let us know what's the performance of the antibody in different conditions. All our antibodies, all our products come with a CFA, which will de have in detail what we have done for testing on this antibody, for example, or even buffers. We have a technical team where all the, direct, the questions, the technical directions would come directly to that team. If that team cannot answer it because it's more a specialized uh, question, usually it comes to one of our scientists. And we have numerous scientists here at Rockland that can help um, guide technical questions. Overall, the most valuable type of, 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 of validation is using endogenous lysates, endogenous protein expression and silencing of the protein. We do that as much as possible. Sometimes, again, we, we, we use other resources like recombinant proteins or, or expressing uh, cell lines. We have on our website um, a numerous types of protocols. Um, we have videos. We are starting to make videos for most of our applications to teach our researchers or our partners how to use our products. <laughs>